Business owners with back IRS issues. Can you get the IRS to give you pennies on the dollar? to reduce what you owe, to give you a discount? Are there these new fresh start initiatives out there where if you owe them a certain big amount of money, cut them a check for a smaller number and you can suddenly make that go away? That's a question I get all the time, every single day here in my business when I talk to business owners who have substantial tax problems. And on the surface, it seems like a really reasonable question because if you owe the IRS $150,000, is there a way to have that become a lower number? There's something really important you need to know about this. And I think that what I'm about to say is going to surprise you, but this type of thinking is actually one of the worst possible perspectives you can have in fixing your problem with the IRS. Because number one, I will just be totally upfront with you and say that it is possible for some people to reduce what they owe, but honestly, it's usually devoted for people in extremely dire financial straits. I've helped many people do it successfully in my business here. But the common denominator thread is that those folks were either, you know, had health issues or really were in a very hard up type of position, or they just legitimately owed so much money that they could work till they were 300 years old and they could never afford to pay it off. Now, the reason that they don't do this and it's very hard to do is because the IRS's idea of how the tax code is supposed to work is they're trying to enforce voluntary compliance. So they're trying to basically give everyone, all the tax paying American public the idea that, hey, you really have to pay. And if you don't, we're gonna make your life really, really difficult. So that's why, I mean, maybe if you owed like bad credit card debt, right? I've, you can call up the credit card company and say, I can't afford this, can I just cut you a check? for five cents on the dollar and they would say yes, but the, just without a lot of consideration or just very easily. But the IRS doesn't work that way at all. The IRS wants to enforce the idea that, hey, we want people to voluntarily pay and if you aren't doing that, we have all these hoops to jump through and we wanna collect as much from you as we can. So the bottom line is that when I talk with people that their first question for me is, can I reduce what I owe? I have noticed a correlation. These people are usually the people that have been stuck with IRS problems for the absolute longest. Now, why is that? Because when you have a substantial problem with the IRS, it's a complicated issue. There's a lot of different things at play and there's a lot of different ideas and problems that are occurring. You've seen in some of my previous videos, mindset. You know, your mindset around money, your tracking of money in your business, cash flow issues, issues that have to do with your business structure and operations that are getting you to this point where you don't have the money to pay them anyway, compliance with tax deadlines. And on the back end, like I just mentioned, the IRS makes it hard to just go in there and write off what you owe. So the people that have this idea that like, oh, my fix is I need a discount, I need a discount, I need pennies on the dollar, can you get me pennies on the dollar, can you get me a discount, no, you can't do that, okay, no, no, no never mind. Those people are stuck forever. And they're stuck because what they're looking for essentially, and, and I don't think they, I don't mean this in a negative way, but it's just the truth. They're looking for a shortcut. They have this complicated problem with the IRS, all these different moving parts. And to them, the solution is pennies on the dollar. I owe them a hundred grand, I wanna pay them 2K. Can't do that? Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to living my life the way I'm already living it, not filing, not paying my taxes, because we can't get it magically written off. I'm just gonna go back to all of that. It doesn't work that way. People, you know, especially business owners, right? We have to hold ourselves to a higher standard of actualization, right? To a higher standard of like understanding of the world. And you know, if you're a business owner, you're making money, you're some, at least, you know, doing well, you're successful, you have employees, we have an obligation to pay. Now, if we don't do it, we're gonna be you know, mature about it and we're gonna do whatever it takes to get back on track. But we understand that that's a complicated process. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of problems that don't even have anything to do with the IRS. Like I mentioned, mindset, bookkeeping, financial operations, cash flow that have to be resolved in order to really rectify things with the IRS permanently anyway. And the people that actually succeed and fixing their IRS problems are the people that get that. They're not looking for the freebie. They're not looking for the shortcut. They're not looking for the wave a magic wand and this just kind of all goes away. They understand it's a big process and they're willing to do what it takes and they're willing to make an investment in themselves, investment of time, and they're willing to make a sacrifice in their life. And I know what I'm saying might ruffle some feathers because like my entire industry seems to, from an advertising point of view, be built on the premise of just promising the moon to people. 
And I don't agree with that. I think it's terrible because to me, it's not really helping you or the tax paying public who has IRS problems by misrepresenting what's possible. But I'm just telling the truth, um, at least for the clients that we work with, which is folks who are in business, they made some money, they've had some success, they have something going on in their life, but they also have a big tax problem. So how does it all, what can you actually do? What are the specifics? If that's something you would like to learn more about, I would strongly encourage you to schedule a strategy, tax strategy session with me. Basically, we'll sit down over the phone, we'll go over everything, and I'll let you know what I think I can do to help. And if I can't help, of course, I will let you know that and refer you to someone or something else that I think might be a better fit. But again, this is not a sales pitch. I'm not here to convince you. I'm not here to talk you into doing something you don't want to do. I mean, you know, it's all about a win-win fit. If I can help you and you want my help and it makes sense, we'll work together. If not, that's cool too, you know? But anyway, the way you apply for that is either above, below, somewhere around. There's a link you can click on. You're going to need to fill out a quick survey, schedule a time with me, and I look forward to talking to you soon. So again, you know, if you're a business owner, you know, look for the real solutions to the real problem. No shortcuts exist. Only working hard and doing what it takes to win is the path forward. Thanks again. I'm looking forward to talking to you on the other side.